obviously the most important thing about DJing is your music. And uh, I'm fortunate enough to get music sent to me by producers on my instant messenger, but there was a time where I had to trawl through the crates of various record shops and uh, sniggering record shop staff, of which I have to admit I was one of when I was a cocky young lad um, back in Southampton. But uh, I like to do this thing called blind record shopping. A lot of websites now have these built-in players and you can select like a whole playlist of like, I don't know, tech house, new releases, and you can get it to play all of them. And what I do is I get it to play all of them and then I'll minimize the window so I'm not biased by what I'm listening to. I hear stuff on labels that I probably wouldn't have picked up had I been crate digging or, you know, flicking through the tracks uh, on the record shop. So that way is a good way of finding music and you know that you like it because your ears just prick up when you hear something good. You, I open up the window and put it into the crate. So um, that's kind of my record shopping secret. I organize my music in terms of what I want to do to it. Um, generally I play CDs and I burn playlists. Um, uh, chronologically, so I have like new stuff at the front of my CD wallet, and then I have uh, also playlists specifically for important gigs, big gigs that I'm really nervous about. So I'll make a playlist just for that. Like maybe, uh, you know, last week I played Inside It Space, so I have a Inside It Space playlist across like four or five CDs. It's just stuff that I know will suit that room. Um, and then I delve into my bog standard chronological playlists. But it depends also what I want to do to a track. Some tracks I want to re-edit and rearrange and mess about with, and I'll put them into Ableton. So I'll warp them and put them into Ableton, play them off Ableton. For me, it's about using everything that's available te technology-wise. And there's other times where I'll get a track five minutes before the gig, no blank CDs on me and no time to um, you know, put it in Ableton, I'm in the car on the way to the gig, so I have a copy of Tractor on my laptop as well, which basically means anything on my laptop, I can instantly play it through a CDJ using a time-coded disc. So that's pretty much how I work.